Hello everybody! I've been taking all my calls here today and I sound super relaxed because I just meditated with my group in Ignite and we had our group call and it was amazing. Um, but I'm very, very excited to be recording this little intro because today's episode of the podcast is all about doing the damn thing. And it's based off of a workshop that we had uh, a couple of weeks ago with our community call and we do that for free, usually every other Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Um, although it's been a little intermittent with our, uh, you know, different things happening in the last month or so. But these community calls are free. We get to work with you guys, train you, um, give you tidbits of knowledge and wisdom and hold space for community and um, feeling what we need to feel as healers and coaches so we can really step into um, supporting one another. And my idea is I just really want to empower you to step into this space of entrepreneurship, of leadership, if you are a woman, I a woman identified, I really want nothing more than to see you step into this. I was reading a um, article by Forbes that was done a couple years ago, but not that long ago in 2018, where where they basically were saying that only 1.7% of businesses that gross over a million dollars in sales is owned by are owned by women. So that means that of all these corporations, of all these big businesses, um, of all the entrepreneurs. 1.7% are women who make over seven figures. And we need to change that. So welcome if it's your first time. This is definitely going to be going, going to be a place you're going to want to come back over and over again um, to learn more on Instagram, to learn more on our YouTube, to learn more, um, you know, on this podcast. Because I want to empower you to be part of this um, next, you know, movement of women really stepping into spaces where we can make significant changes and impact in the world. But it all starts with um, really recognizing where we are right now. <sighs> Right? We're probably still in still in the works in some in some ways or in many ways. Um, really battling the mindset, the imposter syndrome, really recognizing our own worth so that we can fully step into our power and um, move in these spaces comfortably uh, and without too much fear. And so today's episode is really dedicated to the phrase that I love to use over and over again with my clients, with my audience, um, when they say, what do you do with imposter syndrome? What do you do? How do you get started? Just do the damn thing. And um, for this community call that we're going to be playing in a minute for you, I'm actually not the one that's going to be giving this amazing speech. I uh, actually wanted to share with you what the... Um, I should say my really, really good friend first and foremost, and also owns a lead coach, uh, Amber, uh, Amber Gordon, what she really shared with our community call and, and her uh, words because they were so powerful and um, I love her so much. And for those of you who don't know her, um, she is at strike ignite underscore coaching on Instagram. She's my lead coach for Ignite um, and is literally my number two. And we just work together in tandem to bring you guys the best, most powerful uh, content, teachings, lessons, trainings, um, support as you know possible. So without further ado, get ready, get comfortable, get a snack, um, get settled, and get ready to listen to Amber as she shares her journey um, going from someone dealing with chronic illness, with uh, you know chaotic upbringing, with trauma, um, into how she became a therapist and then how she has done the damn thing and stepped into her own business and her own power and her own growth um, with fear but still showing up anyway. So enjoy and as always love to hear what you think, what your takeaways are. Shoot me a DM at ohm underscore therapy underscore coaching on Instagram and I will talk to you very shortly. Enjoy guys. So I'm actually going to speak a little bit to those of you beautiful souls who maybe find it really, really hard to, to do thing because you've got some little extraness going on in your life. Um, so for me, my extraness is I have um, some chronic health issues that I deal with and um, I have some physical limitations that I deal with. And, you know, I also got like some fun family dysfunction stuff that I deal with. I'm sure there's a lot of you that can probably relate to one, if not all of these things. Okay. Um, so when I first found 
the lovely Gabby, right? Like I was actually coming off of a real rough time in my life. Um, I was working at a private practice um, for my mentor, right? Like she had been like this beacon of light. I wanted to be like her. It was amazing. She hired me to be part of her practice. Life was good. Um, then she didn't pay me for seven months. <laughs> that that happened. She did pay me. Um, come to find out she was actually embezzling all of our uh, paycheck money on things like spray tans and her Mercedes and sending two of her kids to Penn State and like, yeah, all sorts of stuff. So that actually happened right before quarantine, like right before quarantine, hadn't made any money, still kept showing up to work because I love my clients and I wasn't going to be like, hey, I can't be your therapist because no one's paying me because um, that felt unethical for me, even though now I'm like, it's unethical to not get paid. Um. So I, you know, I found Gabby and I, I was like, this sounds crazy. I have no idea what this lady's talking about, but it sounds good. Then I got on my discovery call and I joined the Ignite program. Thought that I was joining the Ignite program to learn business skills and that was it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> Gabby's laughing because my life literally like blew up into pieces and I put it all back together again and basically three to four months. Um, but I'm super grateful, really happy with where I'm at now. I will tell you guys, the reason I'm saying this is because on our very, very first group call, I was, I, I think we were five minutes into the group call and I was crying, like bawling my eyes out and God love Gabby because she's like, um, Amber, uh, I know we just met, but like, is everything okay over there? And I was crying. I'm probably going to start crying now um, because several years ago, I was actually bed bound. Like my life was doctor's appointments and hospital visits. And I had a pick line in my arm. I was hooked up to an IV most of the time. Um, I couldn't think straight. I couldn't write a text message. I definitely couldn't be a therapist or a coach. I couldn't I couldn't do anything. I was so sick. Um, I had been kicked out of graduate school for being sick. My parents had to remortgage their house to pay for my treatment. Um, I had given up my car. I couldn't work. I had moved in with a friend. Like I, it was, it was bad. And there were times when I was like, I'm never going to contribute anything to this world. Like I, it, I'm not like my life is worthless. Um, and basically through a series of weird events, I ended up leading um, an online support group for people who were going through treatment for chronic Lyme disease. And through that support group, I found this again. And having that purpose caused me to start to believe in myself a little bit, start me, started helping me believe my life actually still meant something, even though I couldn't do anything, right? This is where that whole illusion of productivity equaling your value comes in because for so many of us, we think, okay, like my worth as a being is based on my output. It's based on my identity. It's based on what my job title is, how much money I make. If I'm looking a certain way that equals my worth, that has nothing to do with your worth, nothing at all. Your worth is so much bigger and so much deeper than any of that external stuff. And we're all here for a reason. We all have purpose. And so I was reminded of that. And through that little tiny seed, I started to think I maybe had a little bit of control in my life. So I would start doing weird things. Like in the morning, I would wake up and instead of looking at myself in the mirror and seeing me as I was, I started seeing myself as who I wanted to be, who I was going to be. I saw myself as strong. I saw myself as healthy. I saw myself as helping people. I saw myself touching other people's lives. I saw myself being able to think clearly. I saw myself really being able to engage with other people. I And I would just, every single month, every single day, I would just lay there in bed and I would just think. I would dream like Lexi was talking about. I would use my imagination to visualize myself as this future being, um, knowing that, that every moment I was holding that energy, I was changing my life from my bed. And 
this is when I started to trust my, my intuition because I knew it seemed really far out of reach, but I also knew it was true. And I didn't know how it was gonna, gonna become true, but I knew it, it was true. I knew that that was my higher self and I knew I just kind of had to like get all the, all the crap out of the way. Also in this process, I realized that a lot of my identity had been formed by other people and then given to me. So my whole life, I was the sick child. Um, I was born with a congenital birth defect. And then, you know, once that kind of started getting resolved, I was really sick because of complications from the Lyme, all this kind of stuff. Me being sick fulfilled a purpose for my family, especially for my mother. Um, and so I realized like I was taking on this identity that didn't serve me, but it served all these other people. It served everybody else and didn't serve me at all. And that's when I was like, fuck this. Like I want to live my life for me. Like this is, this is bullshit. Um, and then I started breaking out of that a little bit and like, man, it, it caused some ripples. It really, really did. And that's when I started showing up for myself a little bit more. That's when I felt the courage to say yes to the Ignite program, which I will tell you all, like after not being paid for seven months in the middle of a quarantine, it is like really difficult to be like, here, fine, take my last penny. Like, because that's literally what I did, but it felt good. Like it felt like it was a good move. So I was just like, all right, it feels good. I don't know, whatever. Like what's the worst could happen? Because if you told me that, I would not have let you sign up. Because that's not, I'm not down with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I trusted myself. Like, I trusted my intuition. I knew it was going to be okay. And through that program, I actually started being able to rewrite my narrative around being able to show up as myself. Because I was under the illusion that I had to achieve this level of perfection before I could show up authentically, right? Right. Uh, Cause I was like, I can't be authentic until I'm authentically perfect. And that's, that's what I need to do before I can like show up so that other people will want to work with me or other people will feel like they can listen to me or I'll think I'm worthy of being listened to newsflash. I'm not perfect. Guess what? None of us are. And it's okay. <laughs> like it's, it's fine. And being in this program, I learned that even me getting on here and talking about the fact that like. I had some really dark days where I couldn't get out of bed and I didn't think my life was worth anything. That truth is going to resonate with someone. Knowing that I came from there and that I'm sitting here now and I'm talking to all of you as a co-coach in this amazing program, I can think very clearly. I work really well with all of my clients. I feel very, very in flow with what I'm doing with my life. Like that all happened. <laughs> And it, it sounds crazy, but like that all happened just by taking like little teeny tiny steps. And that's where I want those of you who are listening to this call right now and thinking like, oh my gosh, like, you know, that's me. I have a really hard time showing up because I think that I have to be perfect or I have to be, you know, on this other level or I have to have this taken care of. No, you don't. You're beautiful and perfect and wonderful just the way you are. And people need to hear from you just where you are. And just how you are. And that's what's important because it's not that people want to work with some perfect 2.0 version of you. They want to work with you because they know that you can hold space with them because you get their shit. And like, yes, I'm like got Philly attitude and Aries energy. So I curse a lot, y'all. But like <laughs> it's it's honest and it's compassionate and it, it comes from such a loving place. But a lot of being able to show up for me is being able to forgive myself for being a human being. And I know that that sounds kind of radical, but it's being able to know that like most days I don't wear makeup. <laughs> most days, you know, lately I've been going through a little bit of like health stuff and, and it's still okay. I can still be a business owner. I can still be amazing at what I do. I can still take that step back. I can still give myself grace. The other night, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I slayed awake all night making lists of all the things I haven't been doing. And then I woke up in the morning and I was like, you literally lost a precious night of sleep beating yourself up because of all the things you're not doing. And I don't know who else does this type of shit to themselves, but like, oh my gosh. And that, that inner voice was so loud. Like you can't show up on Instagram today. You didn't even sleep last night. Like, who are you to tell people to take care of themselves when you didn't take all of your supplements? 
I'm a human. I'm a human being. And that's okay. And you know what? I'm going to try again tomorrow. And that's okay. And we can all try again tomorrow or we can try again 10 minutes from now. It doesn't matter. What matters is your intention and your heart and being able to give yourself that grace to know that you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to like, you know, watch all the YouTube vlogs of all these like entrepreneurs. I love that you got up early, but that's not my jam. Um, like, <laughs> wake up at five and like, I love the vlogs where they're like rolling out of bed and they got like, their falsies on, right? I'm like, girl, did you sleep in your false lashes? Like, did you do that? That's not healthy. Like, that is not healthy, right? And they're like, yes, I just, I roll out of bed and then I get on my fuzzy slippers and I'm in my perfect the job. I'm like, okay. And so this is where you need to pay attention to what you're telling yourself, your expectations are. And if those expectations are actually true for you and like some days I wake up and I feel awesome and I execute a, a good morning routine other days, like it's really hard for me to wake up because I, I still struggle with some health stuff and it depends on how I slept the night before and what my adrenals are doing and how my cortisol is, all that type of stuff. And so on those days, I give myself a little bit more room and it doesn't mean that I'm not worthy of showing up. It doesn't mean that I can't be a leader. And it doesn't mean that I can't hold space for other people. And this is where being perfectly imperfect, that's me showing up. And that's doing the damn thing. It's knowing that it's okay. And this is like, even today, like yeah, we have a group Voxer, right? And Gabby was the first one to get on the Voxer and be like, y'all, <laughs> I ain't doing too hot today. My energy's all wonky. I don't know what's going on. And cause like, I knew we had this call tonight, you guys, I knew we had this call tonight and I I literally woke up and I was like, <gasps> I have to talk to people tonight and I feel so icky and I don't know what I'm going to do. Right. And, but like, I didn't want to tell Gabby because I'm like, oh, she hired me and she trusts me. And like, what is she going to think? Meanwhile, Gabby's like, guys, I'm not okay today. Like, what are we going to do about it? And I was like, thank God. Thank God. Right. But this is where we need to normalize being normal and not being perfect all the time because then that gave me permission to jump on and be like I'm uh, I'm not doing okay either didn't really sleep too good like help and Lexi's like it's okay I got you guys we're like thank god for teamwork but ultimately <laughs> I share that with you all because we're we're still here right like we figured it out between all of us we are still showing up I'm I'm tired I don't got any makeup on I'm I'm eaten a chocolate chip cookie for dinner, right? Like things, things, things are like, could be a little bit better, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, but I know I didn't give as much practical advice as, as the lovely Lexi did, but I just, I just want you guys to know that like, I see you and any of you out there like that are really feeling like you got some extra stuff on your plate. That's really making it a little bit harder to give yourself permission to show up authentically. Like I got you. And if you ever want to have a chat about it, my DMs are open, but like, I love you all so much. And this community space is so beautiful and I feel a lot better after just seeing all of your awesome faces. So thank, thank you, each and every one of you for being here. And I, I hope this was valuable. And that's our episode for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining us at the Conscious Leadership Podcast. I'm so excited. This next year, 2021, is going to be huge. We have so many guests that are coming on that you are going to love. I'm going to be doing some more solo casts and own therapy coaching. We have so many things rolling out for you. Retreats, another round of Ignite starting in May, another one starting at the end of the summer, a mastermind, and so many other things. So be sure to stay tuned with us on Instagram. Follow me at ohm underscore therapy underscore coaching and stay tuned for so much goodness coming up. As always, I would love to hear your feedback. Head over to iTunes and leave us a review and I would love to give you a free copy of my subconscious reprogramming workbook and that is absolutely free. Just send me a screenshot of your review and on Instagram and I will be so happy to send that over as my gift for you. And I am sending you so many hugs, so much love, and I hope that this week you are able to find just a little bit more joy in your life. Have a good one, guys.